driving through southern Colorado right now. Just left Royal Gorge on our way to Great Sand Dunes National Park. We got about 150 miles of driving ahead of us, a scenic drive that will follow US 50 through Bighorn Sheep Canyon, around the Sangre de Cristo Range, and into the San Luis Valley. Didn't expect this many red rocks here, but it's really scenic. So when you're on a road trip by yourself, it takes discipline to not stop at every point along the way because everything is so scenic when you're driving through mountains like these. Wow, you can see the Rocky Mountains open up in front of us here. We just left the Bighorn Canyon of the Arkansas River. We can still see the Arkansas River and the railroad to our right. Intersection of Fox Creek Road and US Highway 50. Cross over to the other side of the mountain. We're off the of 50 now. We're on another highway. It's a beautiful mountain range on the left side. High Colorado prairies, rolling hills. Yellow flowers bloom on the right. Look so beautiful this time of year. We're cruising along on Colorado Route 17 southbound. We're in the San Luis Valley. On the left you can see in the distance the great sand dunes at the foothills of the Rocky Mountain this area is a rift valley of the Rio Grande River where the block of fault drops a little lower where the mountain rises so you get this whole dramatic elevation difference. The interesting thing about driving on these roads is you can't see where the road ends. In the front it looks like it's flooded with water you get a mirage kind of look. Mosca, Colorado gas in case we run out of gas here. Make a left turn into Great Sand Dunes. Some cumulus formation and stable air above, right from the mountain lift. It's providing some rain for us. We've covered over 180 miles today. We're about to be rewarded with some of the greatest wonders of the natural world. Thousand foot high sand dunes. How they formed? Those sand dunes have runoffs from the mountains, which I talked about earlier. There's a lot of sand in these mountains because they were under the sea when they first formed. They sort of sandstone. But the key thing is the wind blows easterly while the mountain runs off westerly. So the dunes just keep piling up. And then you have this valley here that probably prevents the dunes from blowing really far away. So over millions of years, get these really amazing sand dunes. Probably higher than the ones in Death Valley National Park. Getting really excited. We have arrived at our entrance to the park. Busy visitor center because of COVID. Going up the dunes. I hope you enjoyed the drive across Southern Colorado. We covered over 150 miles from Royal Gorge Bridge through Bighorn Sheep Canyon, following the Arkansas River upstream and down the San Luis Valley to the Great Sand Dunes. For a video of my full visit, check out my following video for an in-depth look at what I did for three hours. So we're halfway up one of these fall summits. And nothing beats a Colorado sunset. Maybe a California sunset.